Last week, Bill Morneau, Finance Minister of Canada, announced, re-announced these proposed legislations that are going to affect many private businesses Absolutely. in Canada, if not every private yep. business in Canada. Yep. One of them is about income splitting or income sprinkling, as they termed it. What can you tell us about that? Well, all this changes in 2018. Uh, entrepreneurs who've had corporations in, uh, with their businesses have for the last three or four decades um, been paying dividends to the family members who are shareholders of their companies. And the family members have been paying tax or whatever the rates are. And usually the rates are pretty low to let adult children uh, pay for their own expenses or spouses to stay at home and pay for the uh, livelihood of the household. Now, starting in 2018, that, that's done. Uh, it's felt that it was unfair. Any payments made to uh, the family members uh, will be viewed, will be taxed at the top marginal tax rate, which is a high 40s or mid 40s for dividends, um, unless the family member is actively involved in the business, which may not apply to most of the entrepreneurs out there. So with the proposed legislation curtailing the income sprinkling or income splitting, what is that going to cost the private business owner? Oh, this, we're talking thousands of dollars. This is not a, a, a couple of few, a few hundred bucks. Uh, an entrepreneur who had a spouse at home uh, raising children, say, and would pay, uh, say, a $20,000 dividend, which is not a lot of money, to the spouse to help with the expenses, etc., where the spouse would pay hardly anything in tax, now that $20,000 will be taxed for, to the tune of almost $8,000. And we're only talking about $20,000. You're not necessarily a millionaire to have to pay that. You can be a thousandaire if you want it to pay for that. So it's affecting everybody across the uh, income uh, ranks.